the first time I ever wrote a song about biology was when I was a postdoc. So I was postdocing in a rather large lab, and it seemed like somebody was always leaving. And so my advisor was throwing farewell parties all the time. And I thought it would be really nice if at some point I could write a song about the project of the person who was leaving. People would always just laugh at the ways that I could rhyme malignant and indignant and things like that. So it got me to thinking that maybe I could use song to help get across ideas in biology. What are the processes that lead to speciation? Well, listen and I'll tell you the first rule. A group needs to get cut off from other populations and isolate the very own gene pool. Well, it could be a mountain that you're on the other side. It could be a river that's a little bit too wide. We could fly away from them all. So when I came to CSUN and started teaching the non-majors biology class, Bio 100, I started to write a few songs about some of the harder concepts and performing them in class. My hope is that by, by hearing the songs, if they're catchy enough for you to keep on singing over and over again, you're not going to forget that. So one thing that I wanted to do to try and complement the songs was to also provide a mini tutorial, just so that they really did understand everything that was going into the lyrics. So I was really excited when I saw that CSUN uh, Scholar, Scholar Works had a program. Um, they, were, they were looking for proposals for somebody who was going to create a digital learning object. I pitched the grant as a biology through song project that would help illustrate some of the more difficult concepts to my non-majors. And I proposed that I would have not just a song, but an accompanying tutorial, and then a set of assessment questions that would actually be able to assess whether they were picking up these concepts. And, uh, and they, they liked it, and so I, I got to put that together. Now cell division is subject to a high degree of scrutiny. In every tissue, every day we stop attempted mutiny. How do we accomplish this? Listen to your professor. Genes that stop cell division are called tumor suppressors. And it's go, 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 says the oncogene aggressor. But it's no, 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 thanks to our tumor suppressors. What if there's a hit in a tumor suppressor gene? There's no one to say no, and a tumor's on the scene. I, I was never a singer, and I didn't even try to pick up the guitar until I was in graduate school, which it's a little late to really get that good at it, I think. So my musical ability is quite limited, but what I don't lack is um, an ability to go out there and be embarrassed and not worry about it that much.